I've been told that there's this video that's kind of going viral that I should watch and react to. So today I'm going to be filming my reaction live and this video uh, is apparently by somebody called Millennials of Singapore. Never heard of them but yeah, just the name itself is enough to piss me off. So the show is titled, Is This Racist? Hey guys, I'm Daniel. I'm Anmo. I'm Edna. And I'm Ed. Aya, they want to have the cast of all the four races. The Chinese should be called Xiaoming. The Indian should be called Bala. Then the Malay should be called Ahmad. And the Eurasian should be called John. This is all the textbooks say one. Don't, so don't call me racist, I tell ya. Who tried this at me? Triggered. Chinese privilege. Oh. First question is, is this racist not have minorities as leads in local English programs? Which means uh, it's not enough that they are just part of the cast, they actually have to be a main lead. Of course it's not racist, uh, come on. Okay, so here we have the Chinese guy saying racist, Indian girl saying racist, Eurasian girl saying racist and nice, Malay guy says it's not racist and he's schooling them on it. Oh. I don't mind, but it's racist if they portray. You see, yeah, the Chinese guy right, just sitting down there, right, he's like, uh, oh, she wants to fucking check my fucking Chinese privilege. If I say not racist, it will look like I have Chinese privilege. Yeah, very racist. I'm very woke. If every single TV show on, say, Channel 5 doesn't have a minority as like like it's all Chinese people then that's quite that's quite awkward which is what's happening now la. what I am very angry because the Indian girl just said which is what's happening now la. she just said that Channel 5 does not have freaking minorities in any TV show she's reacting to the Chinese guy which is the Chinese guy said that there are zero minorities so even if there's just one minority her whole entire argument is just broken let's think of a Channel 5 TV show Tang Ling series cast Christina Kaidonis 90 episodes not Chinese Mastura Ahmad 21 episodes not Chinese James Kumar not Chinese what the fuck is this? Indian girl I'm talking to you can you see? that's not what's happening now calm down Check your Chinese privilege. Mm, go on. <laughs> Chinese bombers. The percentage of leads of different race should be um, proportionate mm. to what their proportion of race is in the population, I think. Yeah. Very triggered. Okay, so this guy is saying if one in four, let's say, Singaporeans are like a minority race, in a cast of four people, there has to be one minority person. How many percentage of the population are gay? I don't know, 15? In a cast of 10 people, we need to have one gay person, okay? How many people are short? You have to represent short people, you know. They are very discriminated, you know. I would know I'm short. How many ugly people are there in Singapore? Maybe 7 out of 10 people are ugly. So in a cast of 10 people, God forbid you have more than three who are good looking. In a show representative of the entire island of Singapore, there's also a lot of Bangladeshis, there's also a lot of Filipinos, the Japanese, blah blah blah, all these other nationalities. So, for every single TV show, we have to have all these nationalities and it all needs to be proportionate to what our nation has. You know what else I think is very irritating? How dare they make this show talking about racism and only have young people. This is the age list. Why you never invite me? Because I'm not a millennial ah. It's not representative of our society, you know. Okay, fair enough. This one is definitely racist. I'll give it a yes. Yeah, I think we all agree on that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. And why should your definitely. race play a part in your ability? Your, yeah, exactly. I think unless like, you know, it's a specific it's a specific job where you need Mandarin speaking people. Sometimes you feel paranoid that they are gonna talk bad about you. Since you don't understand what they're saying. The Eurasian girl is saying that she feels paranoid that people are talking bad about her when she doesn't understand what people are saying. Don't let me see you go to like Japan for a holiday or Korea because oh you're so paranoid, they're all talking bad stuff about me. Then go learn another language like what's wrong with you? It's language then that's ability, but they should be hiring based on skills rather than yeah. than anything else other than that. I'm usually hired for my gorgeous looks. Okay, this one says, is it racist to complain that a Malay wedding is noisy? Yep, it's racist. Yeah, it's racist now. Why is it racist? If I'm saying that a wedding is noisy, then 
that's just what it is. If an autistic child who has a hearing sensitivity walks past a Malay wedding and then he goes to his mom like, Mom, this Malay wedding is so noisy. Racist! Ignore what your ear hears. It is not true because what you said is racist. It's ridiculous for people to hate on Malay weddings because all weddings are noisy and therefore it's not right to hate on a Malay wedding that personally affected you. There's so many noisy things in the world and nobody likes noise. Like the Chinese Tong Tong Chang is also very noisy what? I'm so depressed, I, I can't do this war anymore. Oh, I like it. Huh? The producer is like, is it racist to complain about Chinese New Year drums being too loud? Huh? My Tong Tong Chang actually came out. Hmm, this is a trick question because just now they say the Malay one is racist, right? Then now they want to say that this one is not racist, but they cannot because it shows that they're hypocrites. So let's just, just see how they react. Biggest thing. Wah, 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 wah. Look at them, look at them. They freaking like. Shit, they really want to say that it's not racist. And they like. Mm. Same thing, right? With the Malay wedding, right? Oh, okay. No, it is racist, I guess. Oh. Forget about anything based on racist, racist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we cheat on. I guess it's racist, I guess. I guess. Even though you have Chinese prayer lunch. <sighs> fucking Tong Tong Chang. Fucking Chinese. Don't give me that, nah. <laughs> yeah. I think we're quite annoying. Oh my god, this is my favorite. See what these people say. I'm in between. What? Yeah. It depends how appropriate you make it. Like if you really are making yeah. fun of the culture that you are like copying, I guess, then it's a bad thing. Hello. Who is going to decide whether you are making fun of the culture or you are appreciating it? You get to decide. Anyone can get to decide. There's no freaking proof. So if you are being sensitive, then you decide that it's racism. Like, what the fuck? You wear, and you put on like, for example, like a bindi. Like for Indian culture, bindi is like quite a valuable uh, statement. Lah. And you see people, like Chinese people wearing a bindi for fashion. And I think that's quite insulting in a way. I will fucking wear a bindi if I want to wear a bindi. There are celebrities who have actually used bindis before. Like, I don't see what's the problem. I guess in the past, like 10 years ago, nobody gave a fuck. Everyone was just like, oh, you're embracing my culture. That's awesome. It brings people together to have conversations and stuff. For Racial Harmony Day, the children in Dasha's school were told to wear ethnic costumes. I put him in traditional Indian attire. I suppose that's racist in 2017 too. Racist. Dash. Racist. The next question is, how do we identify what's racist and what's not? The way is to ask minorities about it. Ask them what is racist to them and what's not. Ask minorities what's racist. Don't bother to ask the majority. Because majorities can never feel race racism, I guess. Hmm? I'm so angry until my, my glasses drop out. Why you never ask me? Can I say that Chinese people have small eyes? Ah, uh? uh, you use dental floss? Uh? But discriminating against someone or something, it doesn't matter whether it's their race, their religion, their sexuality, their nationality, like anytime you discriminate someone, it's wrong. I'm discriminating you. You ugly. Okay, okay, actually, he's not ugly, but. Eh, the Indian girl's face when he was saying that is damn funny. She's like. Like for the Chinese, I think a lot of them. You also Chinese! They feel something's not racist, but to the minorities, it can be very racist. You racist so towards me. Ah. And how you say it. For example, like if a Chinese. Um, you say Chinese! I'm <laughs> <laughs> so good! <sighs> I'm going to give my opinion on all of them now and I'm talking about them as an individual half-looking Chinese guy, I don't know whether he's a Chinese guy the first guy full of shit, incoherent, bad grammar Indian woman, racist against Chinese, don't like you everything she also put racist and Eurasian girl, yeah. Malay guy, actually I like him the best out of everybody I think people nowadays just cannot tell some things are actually just tasteless, some things are offensive not everything is about your race oh my god, I just, I just like stop at this screenshot and she looks like she is mocking a disabled person because like last time Donald Trump did this, then everyone said that she, he is mocking a disabled. 
Alright, so I finished watching the whole video. Why are young people like this? What is society coming to? We used to be a nation where we can all joke and have fun with each other. You say a little bit of racist humor here, I say a little bit of racist humor there, and we all end up still being very good friends at the end of the day because you know I love you and I know you love me. So, where the fuck has all this gone to? People are so hell bent on playing identity politics nowadays that they don't realize that this is actually what is segregating society further and further and causing people to dislike each other's groups. Before I go, I've got something very important to say, which is that if everything is racist, then nothing is racist. Okay, enough, enough, enough. This is very off. Oh, fuck this shit. Just in the news.